All right, we're on the top of Chav Beiz Amir Aleph in Circa Kishmak. Yesterday we learned, began the parak on Daf Chav Amir Beiz. We spoke about sleeping in a under your bed. We really deviated and we spoke about uh, the laws of uh, uh, yeah, really of oil. I'm talking about an oil. We had a steer in Rabbi Yehuda, or Rabbi, who was that? Yeah. Um, and uh, Eka, we came out with the Pshad Rabbi Yehuda that it was about Sukkot <laughs> as a deer's. Machlokes with a deer's cat and oil ara is is mavatol a a deer's keva, an oil keva. And we spoke about uh, learning from Tamir Chachamim, and then we spoke about this Machlokes of uh, putting a sukkah on your bed and whether that's a problem of Dever Makabel Tuma being maimed with Dever Makabel Tuma or of um, of a deer's keva. Great. That brings us to the top of Chav Beis. Today we're going to talk about another virtual mechitza, a virtual happening. And we'll learn, no, there's a new one. This is most people, do, I don't know, I forgot about this one. It's called Chavot Rami. Chibut Rami, I don't know how it's pronounced exactly. It's a good one. Here we go. So I tell you Sukkah HaMeduvleles, a sukkah that's Mevduleles. We'll talk about the Gemara. will discuss what in the world that means. A sukkah hamiduv lelas. Vishetzilas and merub mechamasen. There's more shade than sunlight. Sounds good. Ksheira, perfect. Hamauva came in by is if your if your schach was very thick. Came in by is she'aval pish enakachav nirim. Even if you can't see the stars. From inside, share is kosher. Okay, that's our Mishnah. Sounds like it has three halachas. One, a sukkah hamadu dalas, which I'm not sure what that is. And you don't have to see the stars. That's what it sounds like in the Mishnah. But we're not sure what the sukkah hamadu dalas is. So let's see the Gemara. Zakta el Gemara. My meduv lelas. So machleik is Rav and Shmuel. I'm a Rav sukkah ania, a poor sukkah. That means a sukkah that really doesn't have much schach. Vishwul Amr, it's now, it's Kana Oil of a Kana Yer. The Schach are uneven. There's one up and one down. They're not on the same level. So you have one pole and then one higher, one lower, one higher, one higher, like that. Okay? That's the Machlekes. Now, in that, uh, Rav Tani Chada, Rav understood the mission to be giving us one case in the Resha. So it's a Sukkah Hamibdulelas, which is Silas Mubachamasa. So even though it's very sparsely coated with tzach, right? As long as it's tzilas and meruba, it's kosher. Number one. Um, uh, Shmuel is saying now there are actually two cases here in the Mishnah. Shmuel Tanitarti said that there are two cases. Case number one is meduvlelas, which means one is up and one is down. And there, even if there is not, even if there's really a lot of sun coming in because it's uneven, so you're getting a lot of sun in. That's still kosher because the mice you have tons of schach. Yeah, you have schach covering your whole thing. So even though the schach is coming in from the spaces uh, in your roof, that's still okay. Um, or if you have tzilasim, uh, or as a, if you, or if you have a case where it's tzilasim merub mechamasa, that's also going to be good. And we'll see why momentarily. Says the Gemara. Um, it's poor. It's not how it does not shed silas and rechamasa. As long as it's silas and rechamasa, share it's kosher. Shmuel Tani Tarti says it's two cases. My mevdu velas, mebul belas. It's mixed up. The Tarti Katani and two things it's teaching us. Sukkah mebul velas kashera vitz silas and rechamasa. And if there's more shade than shana, a different case is also kosher. Okay, so that is the two din. Now the Gemara is going to be shakli v'tari aliba de Shmuel. We want to know when you say that this, the schach doesn't have to be even. You know, how much space can you have in between your 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 layers of schach? Again, I have one piece of schach here, 
and then I have another one over here. So, you know, and it's not on top of it, it's next to it. So can it be any difference? Can it be up here? You know, is there any limit to how how, how uneven the schach can be? So I'm going to buy a lesha of Allah, she'ein bezel azeh shlesha tvachim. As long as you're within three tvachim of each other, the height difference between your schach that's lower and higher is only three less than three tvachim, that's fine, because we'll say love it. I will yesh bezel azeh gimel tvachim, pisula, that will be pasol. Amarava, no, avili yesh bezel azeh shlesha tvachim, nami. That's also good. The only time you, we will have an issue with your schach me being um, being too far apart height wise is if ain begagay tefach if the slats that you're using are less than a tefach wide then it's got to be within three tefach tefach but if each board is going to be a tefach or the board that's higher up is a tefach is a tefach wide then then we'll say it's kasher even if it's more than three tefachim away why the amrinon chabait rami chabait rami means lower it down and throw it take a look at rashi just to give us a a, a glimpse into this halacha rashi right in the middle of the wide lines she'en begagoy in the middle of the, I'm sorry, the skinny lines in Rashi. In middle, right in the middle of the skinny lines in Rashi, she'ein begaga is the last two words on the line. The Rashi begins, bekan ha'oil ha'rochav tefach. She'ein begaga bekan ha'oil ha'rochav tefach. If it's not going to be a tefach wide, the lav shem oil ha'led, it's not considered an oil because it's less than a tefach. Then lach shivu ye'i v'lameimar. So it's not chashiv enough to say chavoyt rami. Which means what? Hashfel, lower down, vashlech, and throw. Oisai, that piece of schach, al ha'avish etachlov, on the ear that's below it. The hainu nami inyan good aches. This is also a type of good aches. Remember, good aches means to pull down. Okay? So if I have my schach, it's a tefach wide. So it's a chash of oil. This thing that's tevach wide is considered an oil. It's considered a gag. So then I could say on each edge of it, I could say on the whole thing, I say chavoyt rami. I can low, I lower it down, and I look at it as if it's flat across with the other a level with the other schach that's there. So if it's less than three tvachim, if the space between your schach and your and your pole here on top is less than three tvachim, so then it's done, love it. You don't have to, that's fine. But here we're talking about even if it's higher up, it could be ten tvachim up. But it's a, it's a tevach wide, we'll say chavait rami, you lower it, and if we're to look, we'll consider it as if it's, it's, it's level with the rest of the schach. Because if it's less than a tevach wide, it's not considered a gag. It's not considered an oil. That, that one beam is not considered, a, it's not chashav to be considered something that will say a din on it. To say din and to give things din, and we saw like to say to say love it or to say uh, good aches, we wanted to have a mechitza. It has to have asar tvachim. Once asar tvachim, we'll say good aches. So on a roof, to say pitikra or to say chabait uh, chab, uh, rami, to throw it down, it has to be a, a something that's choshev that would is at least considered an oil. If it would be above something that's considered a gag, then we could say chabait rami. Um, okay. I says we use lashon chav. You know, like chibut by the aravus is a lashon we use by the aravus when you bang the aravus on the floor. You lose it, uh, it's called chibut. So when you bang, when you lower in something down, it's called chavata. That's what the the word means. Um, okay. Now, now we're going to get into the sugi here. Amar rava may not mean a law. So where, where do I get this from? How do I know this? So we're going to learn Al Mishnah in Ahalais. And a Braisa. That's a Sefton. We learned in a Mishnah. Okay, so here we're talking about two floor, a, a two floor house. Okay? So there's the roof, and then there's the floor of the first floor. I'm sorry, the roof of the first floor is the floor of the second floor, and then there's the roof of the whole building. Those are the two things. So, Kairos Habayis, the roof of the first floor, that's called Kairos Habayis, is the roof of the, is the floor of the second floor. 
right? It's Kairis Habayis, the beams of the house. Bayis is the first floor. Valia is the second floor. So Kairis Habayis Valia She'en Aleim Ma'aziva. There's no plaster, and Rashi said there's no, there aren't too many boards either. Okay, so it, it's you, you wouldn't necessarily be able to stay on the second floor. Okay, and what you have is you have. It's open, correct. It's like here we have two floors here. So if you'd have, let's say, uh, instead of having a floor here, right, you have beams going across every, I don't know, every couple of feet. There's a beam. Uh, let's say, uh, let's say on every, uh, you had a beam, and then a foot later, the space and another beam, and a space and another beam. Only, only parts of the are covered by that, That's, I got to go across the whole thing. Okay? And on the second floor, the roof of the second floor looks the same way. Right? That's that's what I got. The roof of this house is open. It's a, the, the roof of the, the roof of the building only has some slats going across, and the, the 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 roof of the first floor, the ceiling, also only has a few slats going across. Okay, so not place you don't want to spend the night. Okay, but that's what we got. But this looks like a great sukkah. Okay, or a place to have some tuma. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Okay, so now now here we go. So Karis Abayis Valvi. Okay, so assume the slats are parallel to each other. So whatever's on the first floor, you have this directly above it is another slat on the second floor, and then there's an empty space, and then another slat, and they're both mechuvanis, they're parallel to each other. Okay, so now the Allah is as follows. Uh, okay, if there's something tame under one of the slats on the first floor. So, Tachteha Tamei. I'm sorry, Bain Tachteha, again, Tuma Achas Tachsman, so Tachteha Tamei. So then anything underneath that board is going to be Tamei, because that board acts as an oil. So anything that's directly under that board and only under that board is going to be Tamei. Okay. Bain Tachteha Le'el Yoyna, so if it's not if it's if it's on the, the second floor of the building and it's on a slat that's on the second floor and tuma. Uh, the, the tuma again and then there's that means there's a slat right above it okay so therefore the thing anything again that's going to be on the set that slat is going to be tummy because there's a slat on top of it that acts as its oil okay then um bene and tummy Al Gabe Al Yoina, but if the tumma is only on top of the top the, on the on the roof, then Kineg the Al Rakia Tame. If anything were to be over it, would become Tame. But everything else is tar. Now, how you ha al yoinis kibain hatahtainis. What if the upper ones are not parallel to the bottom ones? But rather, they are they're they're uh, it's, uh, every um, they're in between. Exactly, they're in between. So I have a board on the first floor, and then the second, and then I, I move over a spot. It's empty, but on top of that, the top of the empty space, there's the roof, and then you have a board, and then empty, and then okay, so we got it. So now, now, do, 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 do. when uh, when is if there's tuma underneath any of them, tachas kulon tame, then every wherever you're going to have tuma is going to become tame. Al gabeyen, and if it's on top of them, then connect an alorikia tame. Then anywhere, al gabeyen, if it's on top of them. Then Kinegdan Al Rakia, okay, wherever the Tum is, Al Rakia will be Tum. Okay. So far so good. So now we got that that Lakhir is the halacha of Chabait Rami. We're gonna look at the roof as if it's flat. And therefore this tumma anywhere, it's gonna be considered an oil under all of them. But Tanil, and how how are there measurements here? So far it doesn't look like there are any measurements. So we have a Tesefta. Bamedam Amurim Bizman Chesh Ben Tafach. That's if the boards are a tefach wide, ubeinei and paiseach tefach, and between them is a space of a tefach. Aval ein beinei and paiseach tefach. But if the space in between is not a tefach, 
then tuma tachas achas mehen tachtei atomei v'nein v'agabei en tahor. Amos says the Gemara. We see, what do you see from here? If you need the space in between to be tummy, that means you need the the board on top of it is going to be a tefach wide. Alma ki is be tefach amrin chabayt rami. When you have a tefach, you could say lower it down. Vechilas ba tefach. But if the board does not have a tefach, lo amrinon chabayt rami. We cannot say to lower it down. Shma mino. That's a beautiful raya rava to this halacha that chabayt rami needs a tefach. So again, that brings us back to the halacha of, of, of Rav saying Pshat and Shmuel that if you have a kana oil of a kana yored, if you have a so you know even if it's not if if it's less than a tafach, so it needs to be within three tefachim. If it's more than a tafach, then you could say chaboy rami and will be kosher. Now Yosef of Kahana, the Kamerla Shmaitza, Rav Kahana was sitting and he was saying over this sugya of Rava. Amalei Rav Ashi of Kahana, Rav Ashi turns to Rav Kahana or says to Rav Kahana. Is that really true? If you don't have a tefach, you can't say lower it? I have a tanya, we have a brisa that says as follows. And this is talking now about a mavoi with a koira. This part we learned once already. If you have the koira, remember, we have a mavoi, has three sides. So the edge of the mavoi to go into Rosh Hashanah needs either a lechi or a koira. Lachi stands up straight, is vertical, kaira is horizontal. So I have a kaira that's going from one wall and it doesn't reach the other wall. So I have one coming from one side, one coming from the other side, and they don't meet in the middle. They don't hit each other. So Gemara says, Pachos Mishloisha and it's Archlavi Kaira Kairis. As long as we could say love and fast and treat Vachem Besader. Shloisha, if it's more than three tvach or three tvach or more than tzarech lavi karacheres, you need to fill in the gap. Okay. Now, Rav Shimon Amliel Aimer, Rav Shimon Amliel says, "Pachos me arba ain't tzarech lavi." Now, this is interesting. We've learned about lovin for about twenty blad already, and uh, we now come across Rav Shimon Ben Gamliel's shita that lovin is up to four tvachim. And now, your shita in lovin. Rashi says on the bottom. If you look on the bottom of Chavez Amaralit. Less than four tvachim, you would say love it in all places. So this is a brisa. We never, never come across the shita. We don't pass it like it, but that's here. Okay. This is if it doesn't work in tzarech lavi kerechers. Now, but Abrif was more tzarech lavi kerechers. Great. All that is old news. V'chein shtei kairos hamat imos. Now, if I have two beams that are parallel, let's just go back one step. How wide does your kaira have to be? You're putting up a kaira to go across your mavli. As a hacker, people should know you're about to enter into your shusarabim. So how wide does this kaira need to be? So the Gemara says it needs to be wide enough to be able to hold an ariach. How large is an ariach? An ariach is the half of the size of a lavena. Lavena is a brick that is three tvachim by three tvachim. An ariach is half the size and it's three tvachim by one and a half tvachim. Okay, three tvachim long and one and a half tvach wide. So you need a beam that can hold a... Uh, uh, your career has to be wide enough that it can hold an ariach. That means it has to be able to hold it. Um, uh, uh, if you if you would put the ariach the long way on the pole, so it means it'll, it'll be able to hold it. So it'll be a tefach. What about it? Could you have a tefach? Well, a tefach. If you had a tefach, it's going to be a quarter of a uh, a quarter of the brick will be hanging out on either side. Because right? a brick is one and a half to this thing is one and a half to and wide. Okay? So they hang out on uh, one and a, a quarter on each side. I don't know what Rashi said. It was less than that. One second. Let's take a look at the top Rashi for a minute. Rashi says that Namba Erevin, the Kair that we always talk about is Rechava, it has to be wide enough Kadela Kabel Ariach to be able to hold an Ariach. Vaariach Chatsi Lavena Shashleshetvachim. And a ariach is a half of a brick that's three tvachim. So da'il tevach. It's enough for the beam to be a tevach wide. Kedel akabal ariach 
in order to be able to hold the ariach by its width. You should need a tabach and a half, not a, not a not only a tabach. Now, as I was a little confused about, because it's not an etzba l'kol ruach, it's two etzbais on either side. Because if this thing is a tefach wide, and the levain on top of it is one and a half tefachim, and a tefach is four etzbais, right, so that you have, no, I'm sorry, that's right, so that's, oh, my bad. So that makes sense. Okay, good. So you have if it's four, it's a quarter of four. I was getting confused. Okay, so if you put your if you put your brick, if you put your brick on top of on top of your uh, one and a half brick on top of your one tefach um, beam, so you'll have a tefach is four ed's boys. So a tefach and a half is six ed's boys. So you'll have uh, four ed's boys on the kaira, and then an ed's on either side. And the Lord says that's that's good enough. Okay. So a kitzur yaker needs to be at least a tefach to be able to hold your levena, which uh, to hold your ariach, which is a tefach and a half. Okay. So now what happens? Let's go learn the, the brayso now. This is all the same brayso. Okay. Shnei kairis hamat imos. You have two parallel beams. Loy bezuka de lekabel ariach, loy bezuka de lekabel ariach. Neither of them is wide enough to hold a to hold this brick. Well, im mekub im mekav mekavlois mekavlois ariach l'rach boy. Tefach, ein tzarech lahavi kaira acheres. Well, if you put the two together and can hold the ariach l'rach by tefach, so then you're fine. The imlav tzarech lahavi kaira acheres. Otherwise, you have to bring another beam. Reb Shimon Gamliel Aimer in mekabelis ariach la'arkay shloisha tefachim. Even if they're far apart from each other, but if you can put the brick on across it, right? So the three tefachim are going to go across these two. Um, these two beams, yeah, ain't tzarech lavi kare acheres. The imlav tzarech lavi kare acheres. Okay. Now, now we get to what we're we're, we're interested in in this brayso. How you achas lamala the achas lamata? What if one beam is lower than the other, or higher than the other? They're not. They're not. Uh, they're not on the same height. Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Yudaimer, Raya. We look at it. We will look at them as if they're on the same level. As long as the top one is not twenty amas, over twenty amas high, and the bottom one is not under ten tefachim. But if either one was, if if, if they're both within twenty amas, and um, and. Uh, then I'm reading the Rami. Then we'll say we look at we can lower it down and look at them as if they're together. They could be up twenty away from each other. It's crazy. This good one point. Second point, the Gemara, the Gemara wants to bring up first of all is Here it's clear in the brace that we're talking about a beam that is not a tefach wide because if it was a tefach wide, there wouldn't be an issue. We wouldn't need to combine it with anything else. So it's less than a tefach, and still we're saying chabayit Rami. So that's a kasha on Rava. Rava says we'll only say Chabad Rami if you got twenty. Um, if if it's a, if it's a tefach here, it's clear, clear on the brisa. Even if it's less than a tefach, we'll say it. Says the Gemara, Amr Lei Shritz ve'Imahachi. I can explain to you the brisa as follows, and this will also answer your question. Ubelvad shaloyte al yaina l'mal miyasim el b'teiches. Right. You need that the, the, the top one can't be over 20 amas. And the bottom one has to be next to it, but less than three tvachim. Inami, meaning that's it. We're, we're dealing with love it here in this brisa. The, when the brisa was saying that the top one wasn't over 20 and the bottom one wasn't over 10, it's not talking about the two poles. That's how the distance between the two poles. That's ridiculous. It's telling you that the top one can't be higher than 20. And the bottom one can't be lower than 10. But the other pole has to be within three. Tvachim of the other one. And that's the missing information that we're, that we're, that we're filling in. No, meaning the point of the Brisa wasn't, the, 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 the Brisa in giving you the Shi'urim 
was just tell, explaining to you that even if you have one that's the right height, that doesn't allow for the other one to be uh, in the wrong height. That was the point of the Brisa. Meaning, you, the second one has to be within three talking about. Correct. The Brisa sounded like it was saying that you, the, the bottom one, as long as it's over 10 talking, and the top one, as long as it's under 20, is fine. And the answer is no. The the, the Bryce was telling you the top one can't be over twenty, and the bottom one can't be under ten, but they have to be within three tefachim of each other. The, the chiddush of the Bryce was not that you're connecting them. The chiddush of the Bryce was just that uh, the chiddush of the Bryce is not that you're connecting them. The chiddush of the Bryce is just that um, uh, that if one is um, in the kosher range, the other one, you might think that the other one could be in the non-kosher range, commercial, and they both have to be within the kosher range. So, so you're saying that for this uh, this old rabbi to work, it has to be within uh, three... No, no, no. This is if it's not a tefach. Oh, it's not a tefach. If it's a tefach, it could be more than three tefachim. If it's... If it, it, you, you only need chavayt rami when you're out of lovud. If it's within three tefachim, I don't need anything. Through the injury to we'll say love it. So the the, the chiddush is that you could say chavayrami even if it's not love it. But you, there's a, there's one qualification is that the item the the the, the, the wood has to be or the item has to be at least a tefach wide. To say chavayrami, you need it to be a tefach. Then it could be. It could be fifty forever. feet away. Uh, you yeah. You can use two a so far, we, we've seen that, yeah. We have seen it. We saw it in, we saw it in, uh, we saw it using, uh, yeah, we just saw it in the Tesha, so that was the Kiddush of, uh, of a Bryce of saying Gerachis and, uh, yeah, but, uh, whatever, yeah, we have seen it, yeah. Not Mephush the Gemara, but we've seen it so far in, uh, we've seen, you, the Gemara says you could say two lovers, the Gemara says, we saw saying, uh, but the combined two, we taste this as a chiddush of one of the, the cases we saw. Um, so let's read this again. I'm really tired of saying So rather, let's read it and say it like this. But the second scenario is the bottom one can't be under ten. So it's going to be over ten. But the bottom one can't be under ten. It's going to be over ten. But the bottom one can't be under ten. But once it's three tefachim apart, you can't say to lower it down. Good. Next, So the Mishnah said that if the sunlight is more than the shade, it's kasha. Now Rashi already bavarned in the Mishnah. He's like, one second. Couldn't have I been medayig that from the first Mishnah that we learned? The Mishnah said chamasa meru mitzlasas psula. So I can infer that what's the point of this of this case? So he says, well, when you get to the Gemara, you'll understand. Gemara asks a stira. What happens if it's the same? 50-50. It's Masha from our Mishnah, Psula. That'll be invalid. But now, but let's look at the first Mishnah, but Yiddach Pirkin, in the first Mishnah, it says, if there's more sunlight than shade, then Psula, it's invalid, but if it would be the same, then Kesher, it's Kasher. So we have a stira between the two Diyukim of the, the Mishnah. What's going to be about 50-50? No, it says like Kasher, it's not Shver. Kan mil mala, kan mil mata. So well, let me tell you how Rashi explains this first. Rashi says that, that means is that if you are lemala, if it's 50-50 lemala, it means you measure the schach and you have the same, it's uh, it's the amount of schach and the amount of airspace is the same, that will be pisula. Because if it's the same on top, then there will be more sunlight on the bottom. Okay, and that's what the Gemara says. Amr Papa Hainu the Amri Inchi. This is what people say. Kezuza Melael Ki Istra Melatachas. If you take a, 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 a coin that's the size of a Zuz um, on top, then it's going to be the size of an Istra, which actually is, is larger down on the bottom. I don't know. 
That's what Rashi says. And he says the opposite is that if on the bottom there's more, um, and the, on the bottom they're equal, then you know that on top there's more shade. And that's why it's kasha. So kam malamala, kam malamata. That's a Rashi. Let's read it together. Kam malamala, kam malamata. Rashi says, this is to the left of the two dots. How did akina ki adadi pesu lamalakai? When we say that, if it's the same, it's possible. That's talking about on the top. Kishiyej ben kana lakana kamali kana. Afilo mitzumsum. Even if it's exactly the same, pesula, why? Lafi shechamas ha'avir niris ba'aretz rechav v'harbe min hatzel shel schach. The sunlight, with the, 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 there's more sunlight coming in than there is a shadow from the shade. V'hadad akinan, and this is what the Bryce said, ki adadi kishayra, that when they're the same, it's kosher, it's not kat shiuri malamata. That's like my washacham of itself shavin. Then you know if on the bottom it looks the same, be a douche and a kanam rachav and mana avir, that there's got to be more, uh, there's more, there's got to be more, um, there's more, uh, um, schacha. That's how Rashi learns. Okay? I haven't checked the Messias. I don't know. It doesn't, I don't know. I can imagine to me, it still depends what, what angle you're on. How you go, what are you getting more of it? I don't know. But that's, that's what Rashi says. Taisa doesn't like this. He's got issues. He's got, first of all, he says, we pass in parts, ka'aymid, which is halacha. We say that when this parts is ka'aymid, that the empty spot, if you have, let's say, on a wall by Mechitza and Shabbos, the parts, the empty, is, is the same halacha as what's standing. So we say when it's 50 50, we look at it as if it's closed. And he's also bothered. He says, we find elsewhere that an istira, this coin, is smaller than a zuz. Uh, is that what it's called? Uh, uh, they call it Palga de Zuza. Yeah, half of a Zuz they were calling Istera. So Rabbeinu Tam has a different shot. Rabbeinu Tam says that it depends like this. They're both talking about on what's going on on top. But one is talking about when you measure on top. If you measure on top, you get there up with it with your with your. Uh, with your tape measure, and you measure the schach in the space, and you find them to be 50-50, he says that will be kasher. That's fine. But if you're standing below and you're looking up, and it seems to you like it's the same, then you have to assume that there is more um, sunlight. If it, why? He says, because things in a distance, there may be more, but it looks the same. Yeah, it says because uh, the airspace, which is uh, which is wide, it looks smaller to you. It's just like when you look at stars; they seem like they're very small, even though they're very large. So things, as they go in the distance, get smaller. So therefore, if you're only being mashiach and it looks like it's fifty-fifty, then you can't go with your uh, approximation. You have to assume that maybe there's more sunlight, and therefore it will be possible. That's a Rabbeinu Tam words. Okay, let's go back to it. Tan Rabban, I'm sorry, Mu'uva came in bias. If it's thick like a house, Tan Rabban, Ha Mu'uva came in bias. Av al bishan kachav near mitoche. Even if you can't see the stars from inside it, it is kashera. Ain koych vecham anirin. But if the sun stars can't be seen, what does that mean? The koych vechama. Rashi it seems to say it just means the the the. The, the 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 rays of sun. If you don't get any light in your sukkah, if it's that thick that it's 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 like it's dark in your sukkah, you don't get any sunlight. I think that's what it means. Enkoch vechamen yer mitach beshamay paisa beshamay says that's puzzled. Who beisel machshirin beisel says that is still okay. All righty, we'll continue with Hashem tomorrow. Tomorrow.